Welcome to Concept in Medicine. In today's tutorial, we are going to be looking at the sternal angle. All right, let's move ahead and talk about the sternal angle. So first of all, let's look at the structure of the sternum. When we look at the sternum that is illustrated here, the first portion of the sternum, we call it the manubrium. The next portion, we call it the corpus sterni or the body of the sternum. And finally, we have the xiphi sternum. If you look at this corpus of the sternum, that's corpus sterni or the body of the sternum and the xiphi sternum, what we call the xiphoid process, they meet at a point where we call it the xiphi sternal joint. This which you see here is what we call the xiphi sternal joint. If you move up, the corpus sterni or the body of the sternum meets the manubrium at a junction and that junction we call it the manubriosternal junction or what we call the angle of Louis or what we call the sternal angle. So this we are seeing here is what we call the sternal angle. Now we want to look at how the knowledge of the sternal angle can be applied significantly in medicine. Let's look at the clinical relevance of the sternal angle. The first one, the sternal angle marks the level at which the coastal cartilages of the second rib articulate with the sternum. And for this particular clinical relevance, uh, it is also very useful in the counting of the ribs. As the first rib is often impalpable, and as such, counting the wrong ribs may land a thoracic incision into the wrong intercostal space, causing damages. For example, if an incision is made at the first or second intercostal space, there is a high tendency of causing damage to the large blood vessels as well as the brachial plexus. That is why the knowledge of the sternal angle is very, very important so as to count the ribs appropriately as to land in the appropriate intercostal space during a thoracic incision. Let's move ahead and look at the second clinical relevance. The sternal angle is also at the level of the T4, that's the fourth thoracic, and the T5 intervertebral disc. The next one, the sternal angle also marks the level of the bifurcation of the pulmonary trunk. The next one, it also marks the level of the bifurcation of the trachea as well. The next one we want to talk about is the trachea carina. The trachea carina is deep to the sternal angle. And also you should know that the sternal angle also marks the level. It marks, the sternal angle marks the level at which the ligamentum arteriosum attaches to the aortic arch. The next clinical relevance is that the sternal angle overlies the aortic arch to the left and the superior vena cava to the right. The next one, the pericardium extends from just superior to the sternal angle to the level of the xiphi sternal joint. Then finally, the sternal angle or what we call the angle of Louis or what we call the manubrial sternal junction corresponds to the level of the transverse thoracic plane that divides the media sternum into the superior and inferior media sternum. I believe that we've learned something interesting today. Kindly make sure to subscribe to my channel, like, share and also recommend to your pal. And don't forget to put on your notification button to be the first one to receive notifications of my upload. My name is Dr. Dell, and this is Concept in Medicine. Bye-bye.